So here we are, another Eco Belkin video. This one's on replacing the thermal compound for an MSI GT73 VR laptop. I've replaced it once already with Arctic Silver 5. It's okay. Uh, my temps on the GPU side anyway are still in the 84, 85 ish degree range when I'm playing my games. So I'm going to replace it with Not To Us Thermal Compound. I've read good things about it. We shall try it. If not, maybe liquid metal. Um, I'm also going to replace the thermal pad. Now these are one millimeter. Uh, I couldn't find specs online to see what the actual pad thickness is, so we're going to start with one first. Um, to get in this laptop, there's two screws on each side. Here in the corner, here in the corner, 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 then right here in the middle. Unscrew those, take this off carefully, and set this aside. And then you're in. Now we're going to start at the CPU first. You can uh, start by um, unplugging your your battery here. If I can get mine unplugged, if I can get my unplugged without my big hand in the way. So you can start by pulling this up. And that makes sure you don't have any capacitors, anything current left in your laptop. Um, then you go over here to the right fan when it's upside down. I've already disconnected mine. There's a screw right here, and there's a screw right here. Unscrew those, pull the fan out, set it to the side, and then you expose your rear cooler. This is also a good time to blow this out. You've got four screws. You want to take these off in reverse order. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, shall we? I don't know if I can. So, oh, there's one. So we go four, three, two, and one. Then it should be loosened like so. You just wiggle it right on out of there very carefully. And let's see, how's our, if I can pick this up, how does our dust looks okay? Anyway, so then you can see my original pasting on this. It didn't, it spread pretty good. It looks like I put a little too much on there. And then, as you can see, the thermal pad is ripped. There's still some right here. So we're going to go ahead and clear this off real quick. I'm going to put some new pans on, and we're going to put this back together. Now, once you pull it off, you clear for CPU. You clean the old thermal compound off. I used 50% isopropyl alcohol. You're supposed to use like 70 or higher. I also have my new thermal pad. Nice and neatly cut, cleaned, th cleaned off the CPU as well. Now I'm going to reapply this. So then you put a little pea-sized drip. I might be a little more than what I actually need. We're going to probably take some of that off. You also uh, peel off the protective film off your thermal pads as well. So I tried to take some thermal compound away. We shall see. Now you take your cooler right here. And you reinstall it. I'm doing this one handed, so we're gonna have to like kind of work with me here. Get it in there. As best you can. Well, it's gotta go back into the way it came out. So now you scoot it in there, make sure the screw holes are lined back up. You don't want to pull this up as soon as you set this down, or you will be uh, redoing your thermal paste. That looks good. Now to reinstall this, you just do these screws in numerical order. Kind of like so. Now you just go to the bottom out don't get an impact drill and drill this down. Just 
hand tight till they bottom out. You'll hear it. I can't turn it no more. And that's it. There's the third one. And the last one. That's all there is to it. That's the CPU side. Now we're going to go on the GPU. GPU is the same way. These go off and reverse numerical order. So we got seven, six, five, and four. So we start with seven. And I should have taken the fan off first, but I didn't. There's six. Five, four. Here's our four. And before this cooler can come out, we have to uh, take out this fan. So that's going to be easy. There's a screw right here that I've already loosened. <gasps> My camera is not focusing. So there's a screw right there. I didn't. I already loosened it. And there's one in there as well. Whoa, 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 whoa! Losing my camera. Losing my camera. And there's one down there. And there's also one right here. One right there as well. I lost it somewhere. So you unscrew those. Pull the fan out. Gently. If you can get it out. Nope. Screw stuff me right here. Oh. You also want to be careful you don't want to lose your screws. The screw back there. It's still... Uh oh loose okay so now we take this fan out it comes out just like that oh crap so see what happens when you don't have an extra camera pull the cable pull it gently set your fan out to the side make sure you don't lose your screws like this guy's hiding right over here don't lose your screws um, then this guy can come out so same concept, make sure these are all loose so I can pull this off. Now these four screws that we're unscrewing right here only apply to these two heat sinks. This heating plate is held on with this screw and that screw. So this, gently grab it and pop it up. And we see that the thermal paste I did wasn't really a bad job. So, I'll be right back with replacing this thermal paste. And when you're done, your Z GPU should look nice and relatively shiny, kind of like this guy is. Um, to take this metal plate off, there's a screw here, one right here, and don't forget this little straggler all the way down here. Whoa, that's really blurry. I'm sorry. So, here we are. We're back. There's my little pea-sized um, thermal paste. As you see, I have new thermal pads. They're all the blue ones. Now we're gonna put this cooler back on. Now, the cooler we'll put back on is going to be this big guy right here. Um, why right here, and I also might look to point out that the extra space that's right here in a GT73VR it's actually because there's an SLI laptop. So if you have a 1080 like I have, and for some reason you want to do SLI 1070s, this laptop can support it. Um, as far as 1080s go, uh, maybe. No, it wouldn't, because you'd have to have the uh, second power supply as well. But for 1070s, it can work. You would obviously need a, the 1070 heatsink as well. SLI heatsink. So I'm going to install this and I'll be right back. And that's it. You just put your, take your fans, put your fans back in. Don't forget to plug the fans back in. And then put the other fan back in. Uh, make sure you screw them down. Put your cover back on and that's it. 
I hope this video helped you at least do the thermal paste or redo the thermal paste, learn to speak. And uh, in the video description, I will actually have an updated um, what my time, my temperatures were before and what they are after I done this. I hope this helps. Any questions? Post them in the comments. Thank you.